Once upon a time, there was an existence that lived without the influence of evil. This universe was once ruled by three gods. They gave energy, life, and control over their perfect heaven. They were known as Hephus, Celios, and Xylo. This trio of brothers kept maintenance within their universe, hoping that their peace could last forever. Then, Sin was born. Like a plague, it spread and consumed everything. The once easeful brothers became engulfed in it and were turned into chaotic monsters. Xylo, the youngest of these three, embraced Sin the most. In turn, it corrupted him enough to make him murder his own brothers. Hephus, the eldest, had seen what horrible mistake that they had created. Before he could draw his last dying breath, he had breathed out three simple souls, powered by his own life force. These three souls were destined to destroy the creature Xylo had become. And to do that, they must first overcome sin. But how can you overcome something as powerful as sin? <laughs> that answer is simple. You cannot. Sons of Hephus, where have I heard that name Doc? before? Doc! Doc! Hmm? I thought I'd find you here. You better get ready for our turn in checking out that pyramid box. This is a once in a lifetime deal. That's right. I'm pleased that you reminded me, Jonathan. John, by the way, bring your dagger with you this time we head out. I've got this feeling that we might be running into trouble if you know what I mean. Hey, I recognize that busted, ugly looking book anywhere. That's right. This is the book about the two lovers and how they fought against the Dark God himself. Yeah, then the girl died and the dude got sucked into some stone thing. Exactly. However, it is a mystery if the story is true or not. I'm going to find out after this What? Re Another search? Why can't you just take a break for one day and spend time with your wife and your about-to-be-born child? I mean, geez, that'd probably help you with your lack of sleep. Instead of dragging me to all these places, I've got a family too, you know? I can't help it. There are too many unsolved mysteries out there. It's always been my dream to uncover those mysteries. I understand. Family always comes- Sorry to interrupt you, but maybe you can use your skill to solve this mystery. What are you talking about? The people who were supposed to bring us to the Inni Pyramid chickened out. You mean they left? Yeah, and the funny thing is, they left their tents here because they were in such a hurry. I heard them all last night. And when I came up to one of them, I didn't even say anything. The guy I was talking to just looked at me and said, Turn back while you still can. I don't know about you, but I think we should probably turn back. It might be no. too- No. What? Why? 
Think about it, John. If we turn back, those backstabbing humans will just make fun of us. My life is already a living hell as it is, and they just make it worse. But John, if we walk in with samples, that will be enough to get them off our backs. Look, Fox, I know that humans are jerks at times, and just for once, I'd love to push them off a building. But even if we knew the way to the pyramid, how are we supposed to get back? On foot? Leave that to me. John, leave our equipment here. Today, we will reach the pyramid before sunset. I regret everything I said earlier. Oh, cheer up. At least it's better than walking. Oh, shut it, you nerd. Doc, I really would rather take my chances. The smell is just pure suffering. <coughs> Hey Doc, I gotta be honest with you. I don't think leaving everything back at the camp was the greatest idea. What if some thieves decide to steal our stuff? I'd rather have some water with my food, thank you very much. Also, where the heck did you find these compos? I didn't see them anywhere. I figured leaving our stuff back with the tents will attract less thieves. Besides, we won't be that long anyway. Once these compos lead us to the pyramid, we can grab some samples and we'll be on our way. My master, I'll have these seem perfect. Are you sure they are the ones? Yes, my master. The blue one almost resembles the child himself. Are they odd? Yes, it seems so. Speaking of which, I found these guys hiding behind one of the tents. The two males are heading in your direction. These compos? Yes, talk about luck, huh? I shall return and finish these mortals. <laughs> Whoa! Doc, did you see that? Doc? H hey! Wh what the heck are you doing? Fox, wait for me! Jeez, take off, why don't you? What the heck are you staring at? Holy Janet Jackson! Doc, this pyramid is kind of junky, but I gotta admit, just by looking at it, it makes me feel kind of creeped out. But all in all, this baby isn't too bad looking. Come on, John! W wait Fox! What about the compost? Doc! Ooh, I really have a bad feeling about this. to get in better shape. John, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there supposed to be no one else but us researchers here? Who is that guy? That's a female, John. What? Oh, whoops. Who is she? Let's find out. What? Good evening, ma'am. My name is Fox, professor from the SDE University. This is my partner, John, who is a rookie at NHFR University. We were assigned to check out this pyramid. I hope you don't mind me asking, but what is your name? Come, follow me. Uh, wait, what are... You want to follow her? I don't think we have much of a choice. First it starts getting cloudy, and now it's starting to rain. Great. How are we going to get back now? Huh? This pyramid. There's such a powerful feeling coming from it. It feels so dark. Cold, too. It almost feels like, like there's a deep rage within this place. Like it's alive. I wonder what I would feel if I'm lucky enough to be inside it. This energy might be the cause of this weather crisis. Whoa! Look at this! There's just history painted all over these walls. I don't even know where to start. Such strange markings. It almost looks Egyptian. Huh? Is... is this what I think it is? Who goes there?! Who said that?! Did that eye just talk? 
or am I in need of some medical attention? What is she? My master, I have brought you your final offerings. The doc are are you seeing this? The markings are moving. That's not important right now. I remember reading a report about how the previous researchers couldn't find an opening inside. The universities wanted us to find any possible opening. That wall door is our only chance to get inside. Fox. Whatever happens, just make sure that you're prepared. There's more to this place than meets the eye. Understood. Proceed. Now, come inside. I don't think so, ma'am. First and foremost, I don't appreciate random strangers helping us in our research, who are cloaked in suspicion. So start explaining yourself, or else... Or else? Don't pester yourself. If you must know, I'm Anna Karai, a member of the Unkin tribe. I was thrown out of it, unfortunately because of my lack of prayers and practice of faith. A faith of God of weaklings. I'd rather worship a real, true God. One that is clothed in victory, and reign with power beyond belief. Alright, I get that. But Anna Croy, the Achaeon tribe existed over 300 years ago. How can you even be alive? Follow me, and all will be revealed. C going inside? D Doc, you're n not thinking of going in there, right? Of course I am. We need the samples. Wake up, Fox. Something's really wrong here. From the first moment I laid my eyes upon this thing, I knew it would just be dangerous! Don't you just feel the dark energy pouring out of this thing? And you expect to go home, back to your family, without samples? We need these samples more than you think, John. Samples is the key to finally seeing your child's face. If we don't have samples, then we don't get out of this dump. Now I'm going inside here, and I'm grabbing supplies, whether you're coming or not. D doc I understand that. But there's more at stake, Doc! Uh, if something bad happens, I'm blaming Doc. Whoa! What happened here? Punishment. It makes no sense to keep a servant who disobeys his order one too many. So, he kills them. He, meaning your master, right? Of course. How's your body temperature, Doc? It's more chilly here than it was out there. You're heading to that side of the pyramid? Yes, I'm curious. That's fine, I'll check the other side of it then. If you see any good samples, make sure to pick them up when you see they're fit to bring back to the university. Yeah, yeah, stop nagging me. I know what I'm doing. What? I is this? It can't be. It's the same picture from outside. No, wait. This one's different. It seems more... Hey, Lord Fuzzball! Check this out! Yeah! What in the hell was that? I only touched it, and then some replica of John came up. What's going on? The carvings outside didn't do this. Should I tell John about this? Hmm, maybe not yet. I'm curious myself. What more will I see if I put my hand on top of these paintings a bit longer? Let's see what happens. Running away so soon, I haven't even killed you yet. Faith is used as an excuse to fight.
When truly, what are you really fighting for? Those three, they're the kids from the painting. The sons of Hephus, I'm sure of it. But I, I thought that... I thought that those legends were only a myth, a fairy tale. The book I've been reading mentions that name over and over again. The Sons of Hephus. But these kids, this crazy legend, if it's really real, then that dark god that the story mentioned it is real too. Now I understand. The story I read earlier connects to these paintings along with all these visions. This is a legacy of the rise and fall of pure evil. These kids are supposed to fight and defeat this evil lord. Wait, no, there's more to it than just that. But what does this pyramid have to do with this prophecy? If I saw all that by just touching this painting, has John seen the same thing or anything similar? Anna, how old are these paintings? They look to be around a couple centuries old. Anna, you know why we're here. You know our purpose here. But why are you here? What is your purpose here? This is where my master rests. This is his pyramid, his altar, and his sacrificial room. The door! It closed! Hey, what's the big deal? Don't. Move. You have two choices. Surrender us and let us go, or I'll be forced to cause you harm. I'll let you decide the outcome. How rude and unwise, Fox! Bow to his feet. Ah! Doc! Damn, I need to stop her. The rocks might help. The tables have turned, sir. Bug! Who has a death wish? Hey, you crazy witch! Lay off my friend! Aim and destroy! John! You fool. Now look what you've made me do! You should have stayed out of my way! This is not good. John keeps bleeding. He'll pass out within minutes. I could stop the bleeding if I was able to move, but I'm frozen. And it's only a matter of time before I'm next. RELEASE! I'll let you sit there and think about your doings while I finish off your comrade here, boy. Now then, where was I? Ah, yes. I was just about to kill you! I admit I was foolish to come here, but Anna, I figured it all out. Fox, you're not making any sense. What are you talking about? No matter what I believed in before, Anna Croy, you are nothing but a husk of your former self. Your soul has been rotted, your mind twisted by the influence by the Dark God. A uh husk? -huh. You could assume I am truly soulless. Only a soulless being would bring oblivious civilians like us to be offered to your God. You should feel honored. You can finally reawaken the only god of existence! Tell me, Anna, what do you think will happen once your master is awakened? Simple! It shall be the slow end of existence! Nothing will stand in his way! And what of the sons of Ephus? Uh, you touched the walls! I did. What did you see? I saw the greatest evil. I saw your master, the ending of life, and death. Lots and lots of death. I also saw hope. I saw heroes prevailing, overcoming the very thing your master fell to. They overcame s- ENOUGH! How dare you belittle God with your perceptions, you pest! What you saw were false visions! Nothing can stop God! Nothing! Oh ha ha ha! You're insane. It matters not what I am, but rather what will be, pitful mortal. Any last words?
I have no regrets. You may threaten me, but I'm not afraid of you, nor your master. Strike if you may, but who knows? One day, your own master will betray you, and you will no doubt become a sacrifice yourself. What? How dare you hesitate? Finish them! We do not stop for anything. Shed no mercy! Y yes my lord! No! I impossible! Oh, this place takes me back. Way back. I almost forgot what happened to me there. In that year. On that planet. That planet that was once filled with clueless idiots like me. And that old fairy tale that turned out to be real. Too real. And no, that wasn't a good thing. That legend's realism had caused me to become, eh, a bigger idiot, I guess you can say. Hi, name's Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog, your fellow narrator. And this is our story. <sighs> I did it. Without any trouble either. I was lucky that bastard of a creature didn't see me take his little bag. You know who that is? That's Bernie. Or also known as my mother. Though, considering how heavily guarded this bag was, it won't take him long to find when it's missing. Then all hell breaks. FOOLISH MORTAL! You dare steal from my- I shall find you! Still alive. My, you are an interesting one. It is rare to find mortals that are entertaining such as yourself. Do tell me this. Are you the one they call Bernadette? Yeah, so? Bernadette, I am curious. Why did you steal from I? It's payback for what <coughs> you stolen from me! That was for my husband, you murderer! I gotta keep running. I can't slow down. If I do, it's all over. He'll kill me, no doubt. God, if I only had my son's speed right about now. Come on, Bernie. Run! It's now or never! What? That was only a warning. If you refuse to give me that artifact now, I shall make your punishment much worse. No, he didn't just... He busted my arm, without even moving an inch. Just what is this guy? <laughs> right, that's what I get for letting my guard down. Man, this island is huge. No matter what, I cannot run into a dead end. I feel that your soul burns in confusion. Do tell me this. Will you give me what is mine? Or will you continue to tempt your fate by escaping? <sighs> I see. A fool has decided to become the spark. A spark leading to a fire of endless death and suffering. Thank you, Bernadette, for saving your own life. You have selfishly led your world their doom. 
along with its entire mortal race. A selfish deed such as this shall not be ignored. Mark my words on that. A fire can't start without a spark, my mother would say. She'd only say that when I got into trouble. Ah, <sighs> my mother. If she had known that her escape would start the spark, she would have probably never done it in the first place. If she only knew that her escape would lead to the murder of millions by the hand of her purser. If only. My mother swam away. But at what cost? <sighs> yeah. Now, let's change the pace a bit, shall we? Let's change it enough to introduce me. A clueless idiot who seriously needed to lay off on those chili dogs. Not like I ever will. I'm Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, and I'm the fastest thing alive. Phew, that was fun. I can't remember the last time I've hummed that song. Oh, hey, I think this is the place I've been looking for. I was 16 years old. I had just recently been released from the human's government. I had been forced to work for them for five years. During those five years, I had no way of any contact with my friends, and they couldn't contact me. I couldn't even say goodbye. But I was hoping that since I was released, I could finally see them again. I could explain to them that I was forced to leave my friends behind. Maybe that could forgive me. Boy, was I in for a big surprise. Hey, there it is! Tin Can, the city of markets. Tin Can was a small little city. The humans and Mobians who lived here all were aiming for the same goal, to make a living. Unlike most cities, the people who worked in their stores also lived within their stores. Unless I was told wrong. Mom, Tails, and Amy live around this area. I just need to find some store that might give me a clue. Oh wait, I think I see something. Wait, this can't be right. Tails was a close friend of mine. We used to work together to stop Robotnik, an evil scientist who threatened to take over the world countless numbers of times. But I guess since Robotnik was gone, there really wasn't anything to fight against anymore. Not to mention, the government still kept me away from all my friends including Tails. I couldn't believe that it had been five years since I've seen the kid. This is where Tails lives at? Uh, no. What should I say? I can't just waltz in and say, Oh, hey, sorry for not visiting you for the last five years. It's been held against my will for some time now. <sighs> what am I doing? Should I really do this? Now? What if he's angry with me? No, I've come this far. It's now or never. 
Whoa, this is way beyond creepy. There's nothing here. I had no idea Tails was living in a place like this. Can I help you? Hey dude named Sonic, I'm sure you've heard of me. Anyways, you know where I can find a guy named Tails here? In the back. You'll find his workshop on the left as you keep going straight. Sweet! Thanks! Hold up, boy. One more thing. Uh, it's Sonic. Go zoom tight. Kid, whatever you do, just don't piss off the guy. He's been extra worked up lately. Don't worry. Tails and I go way back. I'm sure he'll warm up to me. Looks like this layer's done. I'm almost finished with it. Just a few more layers. Uh, hello? Go away, I'm busy. Too busy to kick out an old friend? S-Sonic? Whoa! Get out! You're the last person I want to see, Sonic! Dude! What's the big deal? Just leave me alone! Five years? And you're not happy to see me? You should be seeing your mother, Sonic! Or have you completely forgotten about her, too? Tails, chill. Tell me what's wrong. Fine. Your mom hasn't been the same since you left. No one has. Even Amy's changed. Even I've changed. Everyone except your mom stopped thinking you were ever coming home. So, most of us went our separate ways. Tails. I'm sorry. But I didn't leave on purpose. You gotta believe me. Why should I? Because you're my friend. Friend? No, Sonic. I was your friend. But you had to leave your family and friends behind. And why is that? Because you wanted to work alone. Tails, please! Just listen Shut to up. me! I have work to finish. <sighs> Look, I'm not going to make your day worse. I'll leave. I'm sorry for causing you this trouble. See you around, buddy. My head was on fire. First, I needed to find my mother. Tails had said she lived in Tin Can, but where? I've never been to this city before. My mind was racing. It reminded me of my last battle with Dr. Robotnik. That happened four years ago, when the humans grew serious and ended him for good. Many humans and Mobians were happy that his terror was gone permanently, but Robotnik had gave me a purpose of being a hero. Ever since that day, I found myself looking for a purpose. <laughs> I thought that without Robotnik or his crazy influence on other bad guys, I had no, no purpose. Oh. I guess if I start anywhere, I can start looking for mom in these types of stores. I can probably buy something for her too. Well, mom's not here, that's for sure. I could buy something for her, but I don't know what she likes. Excuse me, could you help me find... Oh. My. God. It's her! Amy Rose! S sonic Amy? Sonic? What, what are you doing here? I think the better question is what are you doing here? I thought you hated this kind of stuff. I own this place. Things change along with people. Especially after waiting five- Five years, I know, Amy. I am sorry. But can you help me? Absolutely not! 
Huh? I have customers, not jerks. Amy, do you know where my mother is? Not telling. What? Why? Because you just heard her mother already have. Please, Amy. Go ask someone else. Like who? There's no one in this town I know. Too bad. Come on, Amy. Please. Sonic, I've made up my mind. Don't make me kick you out of here. Amy, do you hear yourself? This isn't you. What happened to the Amy I knew and loved? <gasps> I, I, oh, I mean, did did you just say that, that you I loved knew and me? cared for? You, why, yes, I did. Why? Did you think I said something totally different? Well, it almost sounded like that's what you said. Well, you must be hearing things, because I said cared for and nothing else. Nice going, Romeo. Way to make a scene. Did she hear my slip-up? Oh, man. If she did, I'll never hear the end of it. And that's not even the All right. I'll tell you where your mom is, then. Your mom passed by not too long ago, and she said she was taking a swim in the city's lake. I think she might be still there. Good luck, Sonic. <sighs> I really screwed up. What am I supposed to do? Huh? Is... Is there a forest fire on that island? That's no good. Time to check it out. Sonic? Huh? Mom! I've been looking everywhere for you. How come you're all wet? Did you really take a swim? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get you wet, did I? Uh. I'm just so happy to see you, Sonic. Whoa, what happened to your arm, Mom? Did you scrape it while swimming? Why, uh, yes. You need to be more careful. It looks pretty serious. Oh, honey, stop acting like this is a comic. Don't worry about little old me. So, what brings you here, Sonic? I needed to see my family and friends again. The president said I served all my years and let me go. Let you go? You were forced? It explains why I haven't called in the last five years. Clean yourself up, kid. You're going home. Sonic, I'm so sorry. I wish I would have known. It's all cool, Mom. Hey, what happened to that forest fire? It's over now, so I can spend as much time with you as I used to. That's great! Uh, my head... It suddenly really hurts. I must have accidentally hit it earlier. Bernadette... <gasps> you seem to have forgotten something. Uh, Mom, what's wrong? Are you having a heart attack? You might remember. You may run. But your soul is mine. What? Be swallowed by your heavy feelings. Leave this world and enter into mine. No! Get out of my head! <sighs> um, Mom? Are you okay? Sonic, take it! Keep it from him! Please! Him? Mom, do you need to go to a hospital? The son of Hephaestus. I finally found one. I will retrieve you, Bernadette. You have some use to me after all. No! No! He's not Mom, what the rings is going on? Why do you keep yelling at me? Sonic! Run! This is not like the beginning. Hey. <sighs>
Hey, Mom? Did my mom just explode? <laughs> hey mom, really nice trick. <laughs> uh, can you stop now? Uh, <laughs> mom? Mom, please tell me you didn't just disappear. Oh no, she's really gone. She's actually not here. No. I don't want to be alone. Not again. Mom! Where are you, Mommy? This isn't funny anymore. Huh? Is that... Knuckles? Knuckles the Echidna? This day just keeps getting weirder and weirder. What is Nux doing here? He looks like he's in a rush. I'd like to help, but what about Mom? My hedgy senses are telling me Mom can wait. Yo! Knuckles! Little did I know that the spark my mother had started would turn into a storm of flames. Knuckles! What's up, man? No time to talk, Sonic. I need to warn these people. About what? It's the Master Emerald. It's... Watch out, Sonic! Yeah! Ah. Oh no. I'm too late! Get off of me! I don't have much time, Sonic, so listen to me. The... Knuckles! I'm fine. Listen, Sonic. Something's happened to the Master Emerald. It's breaking. What? How? All I know is that something shot out of it. And now Chaos Energy as we know it is, well, in chaos. Well, I guess that explains those crazy explosions. Wait a minute. Explosions? Chaos Energy? But, 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 but this planet is made out of Chaos Energy. Yes. And these explosions of chaos energy being screwed up is causing them... Oh no. Amy! Nux! We gotta evacuate Amy! I mean, everyone out of Tin Camp! Pronto! Oh, to where? Stars, stars everywhere. I don't know. Think of something, knucklehead. Sonic, look! It seems those hills are our best bet. By the looks of it, those chaotic explosions haven't reached there yet. Huh. Hey, you're right. For once. Do you think you're fast enough to evacuate the whole village up those hills? <laughs> Please! I thought you'd give me more of a challenge, Nux. I thought you knew me better than that man. Try not to get blown into smithereens. You too. Uh, hey! Hey there, I'm Sonic, and I'll be your hero for the evening. Oh my star! Great job, Sonic. Keep them coming. How many more left, Nux? So far I've gotten 40 here in less than 15 minutes. But you've got thousands more to go. Is that too much for the fastest thing alive to handle? What? It feels good to be on top. That's what she said. Ah! That sounded like... Amy! Master. The Master Emerald is successfully causing chaos energy to turmoil. If we extract its energy again, we will collect the final energy controller. 
As for my failure, the woman we have collected does not have the first energy controller. I should have guarded the object more efficiently. Please forgive me. No. I tire of mistakes, my little slaves. You are my solace. You are meant to be perfect. Unlike mortals. Any more mistakes, and you will be considered useless. Is that clear? Yes, Master! And as for you, Bernadette, my lovely Spark, what to do with you? I have no use to you, bastard. You do not fear the position you are in? No. Oh, is my little Spark scared of me? You should be the one that's afraid. When my son finds out about you, he'll send you straight to hell! I think your spark has burned long enough, my child. Do your worst. is and will be. Therefore, I expect perfection. My solace, my followers, there will be no mistakes. Long live your God. All hail to you, my Lord. No, this isn't right. This can't be happening! Uh, all right, Sonic. Take a chill pill. Breathe. Amy's alive. She's not like Mom, who's... Sonic! Run! Okay, Sonic. Shut up! Clear your head! Mom isn't dead either. I... I don't know how, but I know she's alive. And... Amy. Right now, she's my main concern. But... What if she ends up like... Come on, Sonic! Pull yourself together! Now's the time to prove that you're still the same hero from all those years ago! Soon I'll be on top again! And then Amy will chase me around, like old times. Then maybe, just maybe, I can confess to her my feel- uh. Who the heck is this guy? Wait... Is... She... What did you do to my friend? Nothing. Yeah, right. I saved your friend from death. Death? Her body was trapped under rubble, crushed due to pressure. Any longer and your friend would have been dead. He... saved her? I... I wasn't... fast enough? Hmm. Well, at least 
She's safe. Thanks. For saving her, I mean. No problem. I'm Sonic, by the way. Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't care. Huh. Well then, Mr. Grumpy Pants. Thanks for saving my friend. No problem, kid. Kid? I'm not a kid. You act like one. Ah, uh, why you? Just because I'm more happy looking than you doesn't mean I'm a... <laughs> I rest my case. Uh, shut up. Hey, Grumpy Face. I, I know we just met. It's Shadow. Shadow, Grumpy, whatever. Can you do me a favor? Can you find her a safe place? Somewhere that isn't exploding would be great. And where are you going? I gotta find a friend of mine. I kinda deserted him after hearing her scream. Just don't drop her. Relax, I'm not going to drop your girlfriend. It's not like that. Right. Look, just make sure she's safe, okay? Safe? Are you really this gullible, Sonic the Hedgehog? Sonic! How can you trust me? Do you realize how little you know about me? How can you trust me with your friend when you have no idea what or who I am? Brother. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. You saved her, right? Why waste your time doing it in the first place? Besides, you don't seem like a bad guy, Shads. What was that? Bad guy? Catch you later, Shadow. Is he planning to actually run through these explosions? Idiot. There's no way he's fast enough to... Sonic! Boom! Impressive. Sup, redhead? Sonic! I've been looking everywhere for you! What were you thinking, running off like that? Hey, hey, don't worry about what I was doing. Do you need my help with anything? Actually, I need you to help me to finding something. It could be the key to stopping this chaos crisis. Uh, do you know what an energy controller is? An energy controller? What is that exactly? Ooh. How did you find me so fast? Let's just say I'm incredibly fast as well. Huh. Where's Amy? Trust me, your friend is safe. Is this a friend of yours, Sonic? Eh, more or less, yeah. But anyway, do you know of an energy controller? Whoa! What's going on with you, little guy? Wait. Are you what Nux is talking about? Is it this? That's an energy controller. Where would you find that? Actually, my mom... <sighs> I mean, someone gave it to me. I found out that a red energy controller had shot off the Master Emerald, but the one you have... Are you okay, Sonic? Sonic, look over there! It's a bright red light! I see it too! I bet that's the red energy whatever you were talking about, Nux! What are you guys talking about? I don't see anything! Hey, where are you guys going? <laughs> Betcha I can get there first. In your dreams, kid. I think I'm winning, Faker. Faker? I look nothing like you, and I plan to keep it that way. Hey! What's the point of running all the way out here? You don't see its light? It's almost blinding me just looking at it. Then pick it up, dummy. Don't tell me what to do. 
I think the heat is getting to you two. Glad I haven't lost my head yet. So, what do we do with this thing, Nux? Originally, the Master Emerald was made up of three of those energy controllers. They were made to maintain mainly chaos energy along with other corresponding energies. If you can somehow extract the energy controller, then maybe chaos energy can be balanced. What are we waiting for? Let's head to Angel Island! Since I'm assuming you're talking about the island above us, can you explain how the hell we're going to get there? Way to be an optimist. Idiot. Moron. Faker. Grumpy cat. Wait. You could use this. A, a Chaos Emerald. Great thinking, Knucklehead. Now we'll get to Angel Island in no time. I'm not going with you. There's still hundreds of people who need my help. I have the strength to break the rubble. Are you sure, Knuckles? I am sure. Take care of my island. By the way, it was good seeing you again, Sonic. If you see Tails, tell him I said yo! <laughs> so, you're coming with me, Shadow? Of course. I want to stop whatever's causing this, too. Well, thanks. You ready? If you shut up, yes. Chaos Control! Huh? <laughs> oh. Angel Island. This place barely changed since I've last <laughs> been here. Shadow! What? Looks like this crisis was no accident. Someone wanted this to happen. I don't know about that, Shadow. Knuckles said this whole mess started when something shot out of the Master Emerald. Master Emerald? It's kind of a big green emerald that controls the Chaos Emeralds. But back to what I was saying, it'd make no sense if... Hold on. What if these guys planned this to happen? One way to find out. What are you doing? Shadow! Get back here! Consider his law broken! Chaos Spear! Whoa! He has chaos powers? But that's impossible! I have the Chaos Emerald here. How can Grumpy Pants have. I saw the huh? Impressive. Your speed is almost too good to be true. Oh, snap! How in the heck did I get here? Quick, pretend you're not confused. I'll take that as a, yes, Sonic, you're awesome. <laughs> Nailed it. Don't flatter yourself. Spear Cannon! Did, did you just make guns? Spear Cannon, yes. Why is that so surprising? Well, I just thought... What? You thought I sock guns up my ass? Does your weird chaos powers do that, too? Focus on the fight, Hedgehog! Hey, don't boss me around. Sonic, stop it! You need some help there, buddy. No! Move out the way, freaky dude! Need a hand? <laughs> no, I can get up myself. Moron. Jerk. 
<laughs> you think your chaos powers can handle this much ugly? Of course I can. I'm the ultimate life form. Chaos Spirit! What is that? Your superhero name? Oh yeah, like Sonic sounds any less dumb. Better than freaking Shad- <laughs> Get up, Hedgehog, or else you will get attacked again! Shadow! What the? Get off of me! What? Wait. These freaky eyes. Did they always look like this? They... How could I have missed this? Was arguing with Shadow distracting? Those eyes... They remind me of... that night! Whoa! <laughs> Probably not a great time for a trip down that memory lane, Sonic. And here lies your fate, mortal. When I extract your life essence, my master will be greatly pleased. <laughs> I expected more from a son of Heathis. Such a pitiful display of... How dare you smirk upon me? What are you fools looking at? Demon bastard. <laughs> Good riddance. Nice shooting, Shad. Though, your eyes looked all weird for a second. Shooting? I have no clue what you're talking about. You just shot that thing's head. How in the world can't you remember that? I think it just fainted because it had the unfortunate luck of being in your aura of stupidity. Well, I think it just fainted because it saw how much of a jerk you are. Moron! Weirdo! Annoying idiot! Annoying butt face! That doesn't even make sense! Your hair doesn't make sense! Damn, we're surrounded. Geez, Sherlock. Whatever gave you that idea? Not now, Sonic! They, they have defy God's, God's law! Kill them! Defy this! Booyah! Spear cannon! See you around, buddy. Sonic! And don't drop her, either! Huh? Is that Sonic and uh, Amy? No, that's not Sonic. <sighs> what are they talking about? Hey, Dr. Venus! Oh, Tails. Is there something you need? <laughs> Quick little fellow, isn't it? Yeah. What happened to her? Hmm. She's holding on. She has damaged body tissue all over. Crushed bones and possibly some fractures. I pray nothing serious has been punctured. I can't offer much treatment at the moment. Thanks to this evacuation. Thank heavens for these painkillers. It makes the patient's pain easy to deal with. Huh? Oh no! The painkillers! No! Take it! I can't leave her to find that plastic bottle! Tails! She needs those painkillers! Find them! 
please! No! Oh, okay. Come on, stay with me. Take deep breaths. In and out. In and out. Oh, come on. Come on, let's... Got it! Huh? from what do you think my boy is it global warming no have i taught you nothing sliver as your teacher i am ashamed it's silver sir yo don't sass your elders but i wasn't if not that then why is this happening silver Child. This worthless world displeases me. Let everything be erased from existence. Ah! Edmund! What's happening to you? My body is dissolving. You. No! Somehow those things have neutralized my powers! My world is being erased right in front of me! I can't do anything about it! Darn it! That's... a time portal! Mr. Edmund! I'm scared! Little child, no longer beloved here. May time bring him with the other little children. is just up ahead. We would get there faster if there weren't so many of these things. <laughs> we'll get there, Shadow. Together. Don't remind me. What in the... Hey! That's a time portal! Careful. There could be more of those freaks coming this way. Kid, normal eyes, nothing ripped or torn. I hope you're not another one of those creatures. Thank you. Uh... I'm Shadow. Ha! 
The blue rat is Sonic. That's Hedgehog to you. Ah, as the faker said, I'm... Whoa, dude, are, are you all right? Me? Yeah, you. Yes. Why? You just look really thin, man. Hey, I'm not that thin. I'm just not lucky enough to be as fat as you. What? <laughs> I like this kid. Shut up, Mr. Ultimate Hairdo. Um, excuse me, what year is it? It's 3,745. 37? 45? I'm in the past. So, you're from the future? Oh! I come from 200 years in the future. I, I think. I'm Silver the Hedgehog. By the looks of that stomach, the future doesn't look all that great. Yeah. So, do you know what's going on? What are these things? I don't know, but they're keeping us from saving the world. Huh? Silent. Not since so the future before. But I'm not to tell Currently, our planet's chaos, chaos, chaos energy is imbalanced. With, with, this is a master. Must be able to fix it, or the world will explode from that. Hey! Now. I thought we were both working together to fix it. You would not understand, Hedgehog. You are not artificial. You are real. We must never be a team, or I might hurt you. And? And? We're a team. Duh. Guys, those things are running away. You're too much of a pain to deal with, you brat! How about you shut up, faker? I look nothing like you. Do I look like a dumb blue rat to you? How many times do I have to tell you? I'm a hedgehog. You're the rat around here, you jerk. I beg to differ, you moron. You're a pain in the butt, you dick. You're the most annoying Guys, kid I've ever met. Again Just... with the kid thing, man? I'm not a kid. You're right. You're worse than a kid. At least I'm not a total downer like you. At least I'm not a total idiot like you. Dumb jerk. <laughs> Stupid brat. Copycat. Faker. Ultimate pain in the butt. Immature rat. For the last time, <laughs> I'm You're such a... a... Enough! <laughs> Arguing is not going to solve anything. We just need to fix all these problems together. And then we can all go home. Silver, right? Huh? I'm sorry about that, dude. You're totally right. The faster we finish this, the faster we can all go home. You stick with me, and I promise, all of us will go home after this. D do you promise? I'm a hedgehog that never breaks his promise. Foolish hedgehog. Not all of us have a home to return to after all of this. Now, uh... Could you let us down? Let you down? But I'm not using my... Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry! I didn't realize I was using my powers! I don't remember activating them. I need to control myself. I see those things are gone. They ran off while you two were fighting. <clears throat> but what about the ones we killed? <clears throat> Sonic? <clears throat> Sonic, are you okay? No, not now. Why now? Can't I go one day without this happening? Sonic, did one of those things get you? Where does it hurt? My feet. Can you fix it? It's okay. I've done this before. In my time, I used my telekinesis to pull together muscle and skin when people were hurt. I'm sure yours will be no pro- <gasps> <laughs> uh, I don't know if healing permanent scars is your specialty.
I'm used to small injuries, but this I can't fix. I'm so sorry, Sonic. How did this happen? I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> it's a long story. Five years of forced human labor had drove me to be very desperate. The human government didn't like it when I rebelled against their dumb orders. I ran away from them a lot. I wanted to be free again, free from them. Because of that, humans created weapons that could easily break the sound barrier. Their bullets were faster than me. They weren't allowed to kill me, so they tried to hit me where it hurts. They shot my feet because they knew I could run. They didn't care what they did to me. Running was my only purpose in life. Now, I can't run as fast as I used to. I hated being tortured by them, but they knew my weaknesses. They threatened to kill my family and friends if I kept trying to escape as well. I did all I could to protect them from the humans, but now they hate me. They thought I abandoned them, and no amount of apologies could ever fix that. Uh-huh. I may not be able to heal it, but maybe it might numb again? You were running around just fine before. Hmm. Sonic? Uh. Sonic, did I say something wrong? Nah, you just remind me of someone I really, really hate. Phew, <laughs> glad my shoes are back on. Now for the fun part. Sonic, are you going to be okay? I yeah, just give me a minute. Going back to our previous topic. Where did those creatures go? Please. No, Master. <laughs> well, speak of the devil. And I believe I found its source. Shadow! Uh, don't go without... Uh, ah. Your feet problem better not slow down the mission at hand, Sonic! Uh, calm down, Faker. These damaged nerves take a little time to numb. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, dudes. Don't let your guard down. Let's do this! We are truly sorry, Master. We are worthless. Please forgive us. Master, What are they freaking out about? I have a feeling it has something to do with their master. How did you figure that out, Chads? Unlike you, I'm listening to what they are screaming about. Guys, shouldn't we be going to find the master at...
is that? You! I remember that night like it was yesterday. I was only six. Sonic! <coughs> Sonic! Where are you? <coughs> Sonic, you sweetie? <coughs> Baby? <coughs> Mommy and Daddy are looking for you. We have been calling him for a while, Bernie. We can't stay here forever. <coughs> Jules, I know he's still here. I'm not leaving my baby behind. Let's hope we find him before the house- ah! SONIC! Me? <sighs> Daddy? Shh. It's going to be okay, my baby. He took my Chloe away. What did you take from him? Just then, everything started to blur. I couldn't see or hear anything around me. The only thing I could feel was not how hot it was, but how cold I felt. I felt like I was desperately missing something. You monster! You are not leaving with it! Over my dead body! Will be demolished! Monster! Uh You! Sonic, no! Ugh, that creature killed my father! Let. Me. Go! Keep it down! We don't know what that is! He could be very dangerous! I don't care! This is for your own good, Sonic! Guys, look! We failed, Master! We are sorry. Shut us on your creation! Forgive us! Now, I expected perfection from all of you, my slaves. This is due to the order I had given, and yet, all of you disobeyed this. Explain yourselves. We, we thought you wished no one to be on the island, Master. You spoke of no intruders, nothing more! Accept my spot! You pledged your halves to me. I hand you power beyond belief. I am your ruler, your master. I make you perfect. This is how you repay me. You have no use to me if you are willingly imperfect. Be gone! Hmm.
Did you enjoy the show? Is he talking to us? I highly doubt it. <laughs> but <Ugh>. Sonic, <laughs> no! I'll kill you! <laughs> Yeah! Remember me? Do you know who I am? Hmm. You are Sonic Algevamory's Hedgehog. Son of Bernadette and the Hedgehog. And Jules Grant the Hedgehog. Your ancestor, Jonathan Thomas Hedgehog, was one of my final offerings that have awoken me. Spiritually, your soul harnesses untapped power, altogether created by Hephus, a deceased god. <gasps> what? Did I stutter? Must I repeat myself? Hey! What are you... No! Tempt me further, and I will end your pitiful existence. Hephus copy. hurt him anymore! Gah! All I taste is pain. <laughs> Don't fight it! Or it'll hurt even... How? How are you? You should be frozen! I see our last encounter has taught you nothing. Uh? Last encounter? Trust me, I would have remembered meeting your ugly... Wait... That... darkness... Those... things... Was that... If by that... You mean the perfect being who had erased your world? Yes. And that was me. Erased? I destroyed your time to remove any delusions of escape via time portals. In fact, I only allowed this wretched planet to exist long enough to retrieve what I needed. The copy of me. <laughs> Weeping is pointless. There was nothing worth mourning for anyway. You... You... Monster! I'll make you pay, you freakish replica! Brother alone. I do not need your disturbance, Hephus Copy! <laughs> now, shall we continue? Oh, yes. And how could I forget you? The Celios Copy. I'm not a copy of anything. If you're responsible for this chaos crisis, fix it! Otherwise, you dare! Shut up! <laughs> My head! Do not demand anything of your god, you pest! Bow like the dirt you are! Perfect. As your ruler, I have full control over this situation. <sighs> who are you? If you wish to know who I am, you must learn your origins. Hey, that's... My energy controller! Huh? You dare claim ownership to this! Care to explain what your origins are?
Correction. Our origins. My brothers fell into the deep obvious pit of sin and betrayed me in response. They became imperfect, so I took the liberty of eliminating them. But Hephus, unfortunately, set prerequisites before his death. Those prerequisites being you three. Since you have originated from the deepest parts of Hephus' soul, you partake our appearances. As for me, what once was three had become one. I am the only god of existence. I no longer hold responsibility for the control of everything. I have taken Hephus' and Celios' power and become the one and only divine being. I am everything. I am nothing. I am perfect. I am God. I am Xylum! <laughs> you dare vibrate your vocal cords in amusement. Prove it. you live up to that powerful shut of a up, title? Shut up, shut up, Prove shut to up. me that you are what you say uh. you are, God. planning to use the Chaos Emerald's power! Are you referring to... these little rocks? Their energies are insignificant to me. They can only provide so much entertainment. However, like all imperfect creations, they must have... Did you feel that? That was... You just... You... You... You took away... Chaos energy. Hmm. I have only erased your precious energy. Your little chaos crisis has served its purpose of bringing you together. Now it is time for a new playing field. Come along, Sparks. You are going to play a game with God. Oh man. When did everything become so... dead? Say this is where our little game becomes a bit more interesting. How ironic this is. She is the perfect servant because she, she used to, to be, be yours. yours. from falling! I can't... think... power... hurts... What about you, Shadow? I'm trying to activate my rocket's shoes! Need to fight this power long enough to turn them on! Just need to push the button and I'll be free! Shadow, make that thing work! I'm trying, Sonic! I just need... Ow! 
Is that... Take it. There's not much left. Just don't kill yourself by drinking too much. Ugh. That was close. Too close. Why didn't you use your powers to stop us from falling? It's not my fault. I felt like that red energy we were trapped in neutralized my power. How the heck does it neutralize your mind powers? You might as well be brain dead if it actually did that. I can't explain that. It just was. Just like my hairy lookalike erased the chaos energy. Huh. Yeah, right. Hey, I don't know what's gotten into you, Sonic, but I saved us. We're alive. By luck! Yeah, just ignore me throwing up blood. That has nothing to do with it. No, oh, you didn't throw up any blood. Yes, I did. You were right there, remember? No! I don't remember. Ugh, I do remember that stupid thing's name and how he's possessing my mom. That woman who threw us was your mother? Yeah. Are you sure she was possessed? Of course she was. My mom would never hurt me. But it had been five years. Did mom really change? I mean, when we first met, she was the same as ever. But now... Ow! Uh, a stupid injury. Wait, aim? What the... How did she... Stand still. There. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. Wait, uh, Amy? Are you okay? She is fine. We survived a terrifying disaster. Tails! Where did you guys come from? We were hiding from a crisis. We were very scared. Knuckles! I thought you were saving others. I have saved others. They are perfect now. Though, you know enough about perfection. Ultimate life form. How do you... You look very hungry. Take this. Oh, thank you. This is the same bread from my home. I am happy that you are safe, Sonic. You fell from such a long distance. <laughs> you saw that? <laughs> Wait. Uh, Amy, you're... <laughs> Your legs... Didn't... you break them? No... Uh, Amy? No... Not Amy... We are perfect! You destroyed my world! You monster! You... You will pay, Silo! You dare insult Master? After he has shown you such mercy? That will be both his and your downfall, Half Pint! What are you doing here, Shadow the Hedgehog? You're supposed to be strapped to a lab table, experimented on again and again. Your master is trying to reach perfection. What are you doing playing in a world you don't belong in? <laughs> Spear cannon! Damn, I forgot. I have no energy to tap into. I do belong here. The only ones that deserve to be put away are you and your... Master? Oh, son of a... Guys, don't hurt them. They're my fri... Ugh. Focusing on other things as usual. This time you're only going to focus on me. How 
long till it drops? Knowing him, it will be one minute or so. Can I question why we're restrained to not help in the sons of Hephaeus? Yes, I do agree. We shouldn't be watching this. We must help them. We can only watch just as he is. Xylo? Oh, yes. Let us see if they are worthy. They're just gonna stand there and let him suffer? Hmm. I gotta find Ant. He'll help them. Amy? Fight what's controlling you! Did <laughs> not me! How dare you just me to what I used to be? I am part of something more. And what are you now? So You destroyed! Erased my home! Just to get me out! You Little child! Wrong move, buddy!
Yeah. How did you guys find me? We just knew. <coughs> you better recover quickly, uh, kid. Why? <coughs> what is that? <laughs> what are you two morons talking about? Does anybody know what that thing is? I'm still trying to figure out where it came from. Are you both blind? Look at its eye. It's obvious that God thing made this monster. I'm going to kill it. Get in line. Uh... Eh... I don't know about this one, guys. You're backing down from a challenge? No! I, I mean, yes! Ugh, I mean... That monster flooded this whole city! He must have killed the survivors that were left! We have to avenge them! Did you miss what just happened? First, things start exploding! Then we fight some zombie things, and then his almighty pain in the rear rips my face off! I had to fight my friends! And to top it all off, I almost drowned! <sighs> Wait! Things were exploding? It was before you came along. Look, I just need a little break. Like maybe five minutes, or... <laughs> it was then that I remembered Zylo's words. You are going to play a game with God. Oh. So you want to play a game, Zylo? All right. Let's play! Keep it busy, guys! I'm gonna find a weak point on Big Drip here! <laughs> I was expecting more of a challenge. You're nothing compared to the real monsters back home. Uh, watch out! <laughs> oh, thanks for the save! I didn't know you could do that! Uh, uh, me neither. Uh, shut up, feet! I don't care if you're hurting. I gotta win this stupid game. I have to win. For them. Come on, Sonic. Think. If I was a weak one, where would I be? <laughs> Silver! I have a plan! Really? You got those crazy mind powers, right? Uh, yeah? So I was thinking that you could use me as a bullet! What? If you two are done having a leisurely conversation, could we please return to the matter of Oh, hand? shut up! I don't see you coming up with any plans. What? Ugh. Now just do us a favor and keep that thing busy for us? Like I'm not already <laughs> doing that! Okay, so use your mind powers to lift me up after I curl, then throw me at that big drip! Throw you where? You see that thing's brain? Throw me there! But you have to throw me directly at it, because I can't swim! Yeah, I already know that. Okay, ready? I guess so. <laughs> huh? 
Ah! Ah! Oh shoot! Ah! Ah! That took more energy than I thought. Hmm? Uh, oh! That's just not fair. Guys, we need to go. To where? There's nowhere else to go. We're trapped. You know what this means. We're gonna have to fight our way out. I can barely stand anymore. He never said they could do this. So, what happens now? T. 
shit! This is the end of your game, monster! So it seems. <laughs> One game ends. Another begins. I don't understand. It almost feels... like you are mocking me. Hephis. You and Celios are no longer here to create... to destroy. All of it is mine. Having full control, however, does become boring. Though I am not worried. Soon, my game will start. And when I win... Excuse me? Can you help me? This is your punishment, for using your last act of defiance to make these foolish replicas. I will make you watch as your creations die. the hair! Ugh! Let me go! Mr. President, we have brought the hedgehog you have requested. Should we escort him to his new cell? You may leave him here. Ugh! The last thing I worry about is him escaping. Yeah, you better run, you cowards! Sonic the Hedgehog. Look, I didn't cross any of your human borders or- I wish to use you as a treaty of peace. Me? Why me? It's cause I'm that cool, right? For the longest time, your race has neglected us. We've given them gifts, but they insist to remain stubborn. Why do they still keep their borders up? Well, most of you human dudes hate us. Ugh! <laughs> I don't think you know who you're dealing with. I'm faster than any speeding bullet. You underestimate this weapon. It's been a nice chat, Mr. Prez, but I gotta run! <laughs> <laughs> Faster than the fastest thing alive. They weren't lying when they said it could beat you, child. Uh. The Mobians don't trust us. And do you know why that is? It's because of the Eggman! 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 It's because of the Eggman! Whoa, whoa! <gasps> it's okay, you're not under attack. What the? Get away from me! Shh. It's okay! Yeah, yeah. No one's gonna hurt you here. You're okay, you're safe. I swear, if this is another Mobian Treaty thing, I'm gonna- She's bandaging your feet, moron. Oh! Um, sorry about that, um- I'm Bunny, it's nice to meet ya. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I know, you see me back in Tin Can, remember? Not really. So, where am I? 
Y'all in a different dimension. The only one left, actually. This here is paradise. Whoa. Um, is my bed a race car? It looks just like the one I had back at my old home. Yeah, this here room changes its shapes, depending on what you're most comfortable with. Maybe my bed is that way because I wanted to sleep in something super soft. I wonder... Dude! Oh, what? God! What? What is it? We can magically hear each other's thoughts now. Uh... <laughs> uh um... Why don't you sleep with your brother, Sonic? I've got lots of explaining to y'all three. Wait, they aren't my... Ew. You guys stink. Says the one who hasn't bathed in two days! Ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before you eat, sugar. What are you doing? Hey! That was feeding me! I know, and I'm sorry I hurt you, sweets. But trust me on this. Alright, sugar hog. From now on, you're gonna eat for silver hair. <laughs> what? It's one of y'all's powers. Cause silver sweets over here can't eat. Cause of his itty bitty tummy. Your power can give him what he needs through you. Right. And I'm the Princess of England. You don't know? Know what? About y'all's powers. You use them against that evil god. How does she know we were fighting my look-alike? Perhaps she has been watching us from afar. Well... Not only have I found myself tapping into non-chaos power, but I have also noticed a particular pattern of blackouts. Blackouts? Whenever something bad starts to happen, I think something takes over. So that was what you were talking about. Sonic, do you remember telling me that I had shot that one creature in the head on Angel Island? Yeah, and when I saw you were about to get stabbed by one of those zombie dudes, I suddenly found myself in front of you, and the zombie dude was gone. And when you were arguing, suddenly you were both silent, and my powers were activated. That's it then! That power y'all have must activate itself if any one of you is in danger. Well, if y'all are in the presence of Zylo. Where is that fluff ball anyway? Oh! Uh, um, d don't worry about him. He, 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 it ain't gonna bother y'all here. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <clears throat> now eat up, sugar hog. You're eating for two people, yourself included. So this power not only causes us to black out, but it can transfer things too? Like food and nutrients. Only between y'all three, yeah. That's crazy. You're telling me. That reminds me. But wait. Before I woke up, I wasn't able to hear Shad's and Sylv's thoughts. What's up with that? I guess that's your power getting stronger between y'all three. As time goes on, and y'all's bonds become stronger, you'll be able to do a lot more. Maybe I'll be able to finally block you two out. Ah, uh, come on, bro. Don't be so damn. You and I will never be brothers. Oh, jeez. Now I get to hear you two argue through my head. How long have we had this power? Ever since y'all were born. Have we always been able to transfer nutrients to one another? Y'all always been transferring things to each other. Though, it's not the same type of transferring that Sonic's doing to Silver. Where did this power even come from? I'll show ya. But first, put this on. Are these towels? <laughs> no, they're capes. Capes? Why? It's dress code for the three of y'all. Trust me, you don't want to make me so mad. Wait for me! This here is y'all origins. I'm not sure how much the Dark God has told y'all. But he's one of the old gods. <laughs> Xylo used to have ears. <laughs> <laughs> There's not much I know about the original gods, but I do know they used to be very peaceful. Then, 
sin came along and made them go crazy. The dark god Zylo then slaughtered his brothers, Celios and Hephus. Hephus is the one that looks like me, right? Oh yeah, but before Hephus died, he made your souls. Y'all are destined to use the powers that Hephus gave y'all and to beat Zylo. Are we supposed to replace the old gods? Um, I don't know. Don't worry about that though. The main thing is, is that y'all three are our only hope to end Zylo's reign of terror. Well, I don't know about you guys, but the one that's gonna beat Zylo down is me. And how do you intend to defeat the god? You. Good morning, Twan. Hey, you're the dude that saved us. You did not answer my question, Blue One. Oh, how would I defeat Fluffball? Easy. I'd take him by the hair and- You have no idea how to defeat a creature of that power. Not one being in the many eons of existence has yet to lay a finger on that thing. Well, that would depend on his game. Come on, Antoine. He needs to eat. One moment, guys. <laughs> Gotta get seconds. Mm. Hmm. So where are we going now, Obi-Wan? <sighs> Is Antoine. And since you are awake, I think you should meet the other individuals you will be living with. Wait, living with? This isn't going to be my home! You have a home back on the earth? As I thought. Now, I must warn you. Blah, well, blah, 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 not blah, yet. Blah, 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 Sonic blah, promised we'd all go blah, home. Blah, blah, yeah, blah, after this, blah, I'm totally blah, going blah, to the blah, beach blah, and drink some blah, chaos blah, cola. Blah, both of you shut up! Blah, 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 blah. I swear this mind luck is making me sick! <coughs> I know this is a lot to take in, being that now you can read each other's minds and what you three really are. However, these demigods you're about to meet are not like moi. How did he know we can hear each other's thoughts? Maybe he was eavesdropping. He did randomly come out of the shadows. <laughs> shadows. You're a demigod? Um, more or less. The demigods that live here are very formal, and you can offend them very easily. Just so- Hey, we're the sons of Beefus, right? It's Ephus! Wait, Sonic! I'm sure we'll be just... fine. What are they even bowing for? Um, yo, what's with all the bowing? I could get used to this. It is very nice to see you are awake, sons of Hephus. We have awaited your arrival for such a long time. We are... Huh? Are you okay? Madam Sol! Quit your screaming, child. What is it? The sons of Hephus. Come now, Blaze. What has startled you? Something is wrong with their souls! What are you talking about? Their souls... are incomplete. You brought Solus to paradise, Antoine? They are not Solus, Chaos! Antoine is right. They still have both halves of their souls. But the holes I see in them seem old. The Dark God must have taken pieces of their souls when they were very young. Are you sure they are not soulless, child? You have been wrong before. I... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait! What's a soulless? You... don't know what a soulless is? Of course not! They expect us to know everything they know, don't they? Well... I do remember my friend Amy saying something about her being a soulless. And those creatures we've been fighting. Are they Xylo's followers? A solace is the worst act of torture any being could ever go through. It's a process in which Zylo rips your soul into two pieces. One piece the Dark God keeps. The other half is left inside your body. Because your soul is incomplete, it starts to rot away. You can feel yourself rotting away.
To understand the solace, you must understand the power. Each solace is split into three stages. Stage ones are newly turned solas. The half inside their bodies is just starting to rot away. If you could get the other half of said soul, you can save them. Stage twos are much harder to save. Not only has the halves of their souls rotted to the point of less than half, but gaining the other half of their soul will more likely than not accept its other half any longer. These are much harder to save. And then, the stage threes. There's no method, no ways to save someone once they've reached that level. The half of their souls has been reduced to nothing but ash. They become unrecognizable. And the best way to end their suffering is to kill them. This method of torture is the worst I've ever seen. The more your soul rots, the more of a monster you become. Sonic? You okay? Oh, yeah. I'm fine. Sorry about the bowl, Sylv. Nah, I was full anyway. Anyway, why do you call those creatures soulless if they actually have a soul inside of them? Because any victim to befall the Dark God's torture slowly becomes nothing but a hollow corpse. You become a soulless being with no hope of ever coming out alive. That's awful! All those creatures were people! They didn't deserve any of this! I would like, with Miss Soul's permission, to ask you three to fight with us. This monstrous god is destroying all that he touches, but you can stop him. You have the powers of the original gods, and even though pieces of your souls have been taken, you can still tap into more power than any of us. The powers are slowly awakening, Mogul. However, I think I know something that can speed its waking process. Where did you get those? The Dark God had given them to me. Given them to you? Why? How? What are you planning? I don't know why, but I know these will increase the speed of your power's awakening. You can trust moi. I had them checked. Halt, Antoine! You cannot wear these items until you agree to play your role. You must defeat Zylo! I'm in then. Kicking butt is what I do best. Me too. I'm going to avenge my world. I promise to protect this world from any evil. I will join your efforts to defeat the Dark God. Hey! That one was given to me by my mom! These had once belonged to the old gods. This one had belonged to Zylo, and it now belongs to you, Silver. This one was Celios, and now it is yours, Shadow. And this one, Sonic, was once Ephes. This one shall now be yours. Again, it may not be enough. I wish for 
something exhilarating, exciting. I want something to break. Please, leave us alone. I don't want any. I don't want. I don't want any. Don't take my glowy away. Please. Please. Help. Mom. Uh, where's Dad? <laughs> Sonic, wake up. Tails. Hey there, sleeping beauty. Jeez, you're soaking my couch. Oh, whoops. No worries, I'll get you a towel. Thanks, bud. So, you want to tell me what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with hanging out with my best pal? It's three o'clock in the morning, and you broke in. During a rainstorm! <laughs> I, uh, I really like the smell of your house. You've been sneaking in to sleep on that couch for three weeks now. I know you, Sonic. You wouldn't be doing this so often if something wasn't bothering you. Tails, I... I can't forget about that night. You mean when you confessed to me that you had a crush on Amy? No! And you said you'd never talk about that! Sorry, sorry! Continue? I dream about it all the time. About how my old man hit the bucket. I can barely sleep in my room, let alone be in my home again. It's not that I want to remember this, Tails. My old man's been gone for several years now. You would have expected me to move on. But I just can't stop thinking about how everything was on fire. How cold those eyes were. And how everything just ended in an instant. Mom hasn't been the same either. Though I'm sure she's having a harder time than I am right now. Doesn't this coming Sunday make it four years? Yeah. Explains why I haven't been myself lately. Usually, I try to pretend it's not there. But who am I kidding? By this point, it's never going away. I hate that I can't run from this. <sighs> hey, I have a leftover chili dog in the fridge. I think you can use one. You know, a midnight snack doesn't sound so bad. It's kinda cold. But I know you don't really care. Thanks. Oh. What do you think, Tails? Do you think this is permanent? Well, do you feel better from earlier? Yeah, a bit. Then I think there's a chance. A chance? That you're going to be alright in the long run. I don't follow. It's fine to admit that things are not okay right now. In fact, they might not be okay for a long while. But as long as you remember that things will get better, you shouldn't let the bad things of the now affect the good things of the future. Okay. Basically stay strong and never lose hope. 
Well, it sounds really cliche when you say it like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Tails. These nightmares might not go away in one night, no matter how much I want them to. But I know that eventually I will let it go and be better than I am now. I just have to remember to never give up hope in myself, no matter how tough things get. I propose a toast to our futures. But I have a chili dog. Then toast the chili dog to, to a, a better, better tomorrow. tomorrow.